here to make my second video because some of uh, well a lot of people hit me up in my inbox and I get this question a lot when I go out and um, when I'm randomly picking out clothes or something like that and that is about my cheek piercing so I'm gonna answer all that right now today so to start off I got these cheek piercings about a year ago and that was around my birthday and um I went to a place down here where I stay in Dothan and I'm not gonna say the name because I don't know how YouTube work and I don't want my video to get deleted or anything to get muted because I heard about that so I got it done around my birthday and my mom didn't want me to get it done sorry mom and um but I had my first job at the time and she said if you can pay for it you can get it so I had my first job and with my first paycheck I went and got it done so when I went to the place I noticed when I what I called I called before I went they said they did it and when I got there I told them I wanted it done so the man took me to the back he pretty much placed the marker on my face I had a dimple already on this side you can see it's deeper I had it on this side he poked it with the marker and did it on this side evenly and he it took him a while to get it done but he got it done I went in the front and he kind of he came out all excited and showed the guy and the girl in the front and and the guy was like oh go get the camera and they took pictures and I thought that was kind of odd but that's when they kind of said it was their first time doing it and thought nothing of it but me being a newbie you know I didn't know to ask certain questions and you know learn more stuff about it but um that first day it was okay and I think the next day I went to the movies with my boyfriend and my brother and um it was it was cool like you know I'm laughing and talking having a good time but the, the following days and the following weeks y'all when I tell you I was in the most horrible pain of my life, I'm not over-exaggerating. I'm not lying. I looked like a little chipmunk. Like, the piercings had sunk into my face. And you cannot even see the earrings. Like, these people did not tell me how to care for them. They didn't tell me what to put on them. I had to get on the internet. Like, my boyfriend is a serious researcher freak. Like, he has to learn everything. So, he had to go get... I think it's sea salt that I had to eat or like put in my mouth and suck on it uh, to heal the inside and that's all I was doing and it's some stuff that I had to put on it and that's all I was doing they didn't tell me what to do all they was doing was getting up close to my face taking pictures and real excited about their first time doing cheek piercings and I was furious about it afterwards but I had my first job at the time and um I was going to work and when I went I had these I wanted them to be obvious then they were my first cheek piercings so I got the biggest balls I could find to put on my cheeks and I didn't notice my face was swollen going to work and everybody else did so I had some big balls and then big cheeks so the lady was like no we can't have that here you can't have cheek piercings on the job because it's on your face no piercings whatsoever so my mom came up with the idea to just take the balls off and leave the gauge on the inside so when I get off work I can just put the balls back on and still have my piercings and I was like you know what that's the best idea ever because I went through entirely too much pain to take the whole thing out so um oh I didn't say that it did not hurt to get them done like it was a weird feeling but it didn't hurt to get them done but yeah I, I put a band-aid on at work you know it was a weird look but whatever um and when I went back to tell the guy that um, I think the gauge was too small, I didn't know nothing about it, of course. Like, mind you, this is my first piercing on my face, so I don't know what gauges to use and, like, you know, what to do for all the extra stuff. And I'm thinking he does, too. So when I went back, he still didn't have the right gauge to put in my face. So you guys who know about face jewelry, he used one of those curved ones that go into your eyebrow in both sides of my face and then on top of that one of them was thicker than the other one. so on one side well on both sides when they tried to heal they tried to heal on the curve but this one was worse I think because they had the thicker 
eyebrow ring in it and it is curved so this one if you guys can see it's like a it's a diamond stud so um it looked like it's pointing back to me it looked like it's pointing back instead of this one it's pointing like straight forward where you can see that it's a diamond stud and these people were so unprofessional and if you want to know the information i will leave it in my if you want to know inbox me and i'll let you know because i went there recommend sorry y'all my nose bitch i wouldn't dare recommend these people down here where i stay i would not dare send these or i wouldn't dare send you sorry y'all I would dare send you to these people down here because they were so unprofessional. They did not let me know what to do to heal these things. I had to get on Google. I had to get on YouTube. I had to do everything I had to do to learn how to heal them myself. And it was horrible, excruciating pain. But now they're healing. They're doing better. It's been a year. But they still act like, I know it sounds disgusting, but they still act like they want to leak and crust over and stuff like that. But I take care of that. Mm. But yeah, um, shout out to the girl that told me that I should do this video. I'm going to put her name or something, you know, in my comments or in this video. You know who you are. Thank you, sweetheart. And shout out to my girl, Sky Love. I forgot the numbers at the end of her name. But you know who you are. And I'm still going to send you my love mail. Leave your information in the inbox or in my inbox and i am going to send you the stuff i don't know when but as soon as i find something i think that suits you i will send it to you girl i haven't forgot about you and i i just got to get around to getting all my stuff together like i'm super busy that's why this video is taking so long to get out but um yeah if you guys have any questions or if you got a suggestion on the video just leave it in my comments so if you have like a, a private message leave it in my inbox and i will get back to you um i want to say i have nothing but time but i have a, a six month old he's laying here and he's waking up right now and this is like my third time making this video but yeah um i had so much fun making this video and i cannot wait to hear you guys suggestions on another one I want to tell you guys about my makeup if you have makeup um, ideas. I have on an orange, sorry, I don't want to flash you. I have an orange shirt and like a little black throw over. It's kind of, sorry, it's kind of short and it gets long. You can't see that. But it's black and orange I'm rocking with some black jeans and um, silver with a black rhinestone in the middle and silver and black I don't know what that is and my silver with rhinestone cheek piercings and my makeup is like it's not orange it's kind of like a brass is that brass I think it's brass and this makeup it looks black but it's kind of like a deep deep purple burgundy color and then I put kind of gold right here and then for up under my eyebrow excuse my eyebrows y'all i do not do my eyebrows when i have bangs i know a lot of y'all do that too so that, don't judge me and up under here i put my my bronzer because i don't like that white look up under my eyebrows that's just me but a lot of y'all ladies rock that and it's gorgeous on y'all but i look like a clown when i try to do it and foundation for the rest of my face and up under here i like the kim kardashian look the light color and then the foundation and for my lip gloss i just have some nude and in the middle it's kind of pink and that's all i have and my hair i made a quick weave and um i it's it's the chocolate hair i have an 18 to 16 and a 14 and i cut my bangs that's about it you guys and i don't want this video to be too long it's already about 10 minutes and like I said, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'm into the love mail thing. Like I said, for Sky Love, I'm into it for everybody. If you want me to send you guys something or if you want to send me something, let me know. Just inbox me all your information. Or if you want me, you know, to participate, 
I'll leave my information. Just let me know. And it's been Puerto Rican Dimples, and I'm out. I got a whole bunch of ways.